Hello there, how's it there? I'm Mega Kid Dadas. Alright, it seems like Internet Archive losing a lawsuit, right, actually may have a bigger impact than we all might think. And more so when I was actually looking through Mudaha Sun video about the lawsuit and what impact it can have, it actually kind of like dawned on me about hey, it may be as serious as we might thought if we don't take any action. So, in a way, I know some people will be saying, like, what? Is the lawsuit about and what is internet archive well let's give a little bit of his short history lesson i would recommend you guys to go and check uh the link in the description below if you guys want to know more about the internet archive so basically in the short term it's actually like a library of alessandra but in digital form where it actually kind of store a lot of information like lost website or website currently even software being latest or the ancient software like window 95 98 as well as music and print material which is basically books the only problem with the problem with like this website in a way is that it also kind of like store not only information that is no longer on like distributed or published by anyone but also information that is kind of like still on sales or still on in, uh like music or what's not the only problem with that is that because it store them anyone or everyone can still access to those things even though in a way it is really kind of like drawing the line of uh copyright claim or privacy or i mean like the piracy sorry so in a way i, I mean like if you kind of like distribute free information to the internet obviously not a lot of people like it and I, when I say a lot of people, I'm not calling all the people who is against, uh, who is not accessing to this kind of free information, but the people who are rich. Because if you think about it, let's let's stand from their point of view. They are making money selling music, selling books, selling software. Obviously, they're going to lose a lot of money if people don't support them. Because they, they, it would mean that no more Windows, no more uh, music, no more whatsoever. For And if they are not able to make a learn living out of it the only problem with that is that if they don't think of profit and able to give like give back to the pub to a lot of people back in a way i, I think that's a fair point to argue but the problem with internet archive is that they actually did something f out during the covert period and i would recommend you guys to go and check out this video link in the description below to know more but in a nutshell it's just that they decided to release a lot of books for free because of covert shutdown and what like everyone or anyone wish to access to a lot of information like best way to go is definitely internet archive but it doesn't sit well with a lot of people and they got law like they got a lawsuit against them and apparently they lost the case the appeal still lost the case and basically they have to pay an undisclosed amount apparently it will be a huge sum from what i hear but considering that this internet archive is technically a non-profit organization so in a way they are they, they are kind of like losing a lot of money if if you think about it because what a lot of people may not be aware i always talk about like a server is not cheap and it's really not cheap because considering that you have to have a lot of information like you have to store a lot of information on it and you have to have a lot of like that like creating a server itself you have to like create a like you have to maintain it you have to buy a lot of hard disk or ssd or whatever to kind of like store all the information into them and obviously it is like the maintainer can cost millions of dollars even though it's kind of like just storing every single thing so all the information that is on the internet the term called whatever stay on the internet stay in the internet because even if the website or the like let's say for example you if you post something to on tweets uh, on twitter or s whatever you call it or facebook or whatever and then oh nowhere you did some you said something f out and you decided to delete it what you might not be aware is that the term what stay on the internet stay on the internet is all thanks to internet archive so internet archive has always been the go through for many people especially more so one of their website called the wayback machine a wayback machine is technically allow you to access all in uh website where there is a lot like 
website that is taken down or no longer on service and basically allow you to if you want to kind of check old information or things that, that is in, on the internet at least you can kind of like go back to it and look at it again the only problem with this is that losing a lawsuit the lo losing a lawsuit is going to hurt the company because anyone will realize that oh they lost such a case and especially they also store music videos so music label or music company can decide to say hey you know what let's sue this company for a lot of money because they can claim that anyone can just go to their website and just download the music or what's not and it's freaking out there where it's kind of like it's gonna hurt the comp the, the organization more than the company because the company can just um it's really like they 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 it's really kind of confirm that they gonna win the case anyway because privacy and uh, not privacy piracy sorry so it's it's really very problematic if internet archive keep getting lost over lawsuit and in a way it's gonna be like losing a lot of information information that is meant for future future generation or maybe for people to look back into the crime or maybe something that someone said and can be used against the person like a lot of people may not be aware is that internet archive also kind of indirectly prevent people from saying stuff that is wrong or maybe to say something that they they know this is wrong they sell it and then they they rely the f out and delay it so if a person let's say for example say something uh against someone and they delete it because they know very well that it's gonna like they can get sued for it but the damage has been done along the line but who to blame there is no evidence so internet archive really kind of like store those kind of information and anyone with the right piece of mind will go and assess that look into it and then say that hey you have said this one again you had you had did the damage and you you can't backtrack saying like oh it, it was wrong you, you can just you, you cannot just say you don't uh you didn't know or you didn't say that when it's all in the internet so it's really something that is problematic and if internet archive or the wayback machine is able to trace back to what the wrongdoing of someone i think it should be keep and preserve and to let people know out and even better is that information that is no longer uh, on distribution or no longer to let anyone able to assess at least in i would definitely say that at least they are, they are more correct to keep this information for the future generation so in a way let's say for example like window 95 window 98 is no longer in service but what if people decide to go and say that they want to assess it and see how bad it can be well at least internet archive you can go to the software section and look at it and it can let you understand how much info like how bad you may it may be bad then or maybe if you want to check news that is of old paths along the line at least internet archive will always be one of the stable website to check it out problem about this website being taken down would be a problem because the, a lot of people may not be aware as i was looking through some website is that if they if the big co like the corporal right holder want to dismantle the company the internet archive organization they can do it by using the lawsuit and the lawsuit is basically privacy or dmca and that will just mean that a lot of information that was meant to pass down will always all be lost and unfortunately in this term is that the law of america can just say maybe those rich company are right and when i claim that rich company is that because they can just claim amount that oh they lose million of dollars when they when let's say for example the book never even sell or the the music never even sell and they can claim oh they, they lost millions yeah they lost million of what millions of rice one little bit of grain of rice you go and claim five kg can half many of it like dude it's it's really kind of like a problematic if um any company decided to sue in the internet archive and 
win over it and it, it, it's gonna be a problem though at least to me it will uh it will mean that no one will able to access information like this forever and it'll be a huge loss in the internet so we'll have to see how it goes i mean like hopefully there will be no more loss of the days i mean like losing this internet archive will be a huge loss in human mankind and what's not but because a lot of people will be only be able to access information if when the freaking information is meant for free for the public i mean it just kind of like show how big corporal will be like saying that if i'm not earning money and someone is giving it for free ain't no way i'm gonna go with it it's like dude if the, I mean, I'm sure if the information given for free is something that the, they still under distribution, that I think that is wrong, L like legally is wrong. But morally, Internet Archive did is always right because it's kind of like if you think about it, right? Not a lot of people has the money to access to a lot of information, including books that is being sold for like who know how long, how much price of it. It's like, dude, if if those cobra want to say that, oh, let's put price that is suitable for the public then that should be the way to go but when one book can cost you up to 20 30 40 50 dollars or even like some of the book can cost you up to 100 to to 200 dollars yeah if you if you're a poor person who want to be a lawyer in future and you don't have the way to assess a lawyer uh the book of law or whatever book of that there yeah at least internet archives is able to help you but the one thing you have to do is at least that once you have the money, pay back or like donate to Internet Archive or buy the actual book and own it so that you can prove to others that you actually own the freaking book and at the same time support the company. But instead, everyone take everything for free and sometimes like taking things too much for free, it kind of like get you wondering like, is it really some, those kind of people who always take too much thing for free or for granted that it's gonna affect other people and this is one of the cases that to me it's really one of the cases where too much of a nice thing and people keep misusing it and that is gonna make a lot of people unable to access this kind of information so personally i'm still gonna give it a wait and see approach I'm gonna see like with will it affect like this loss will it really affect that badly although i'm inclined to give a little bit of benefit or doubt if but if they get another lawsuit and they lose it yeah it's gonna be a threat like, it will be a, a very bad hit to internet archive in future as especially like they can just anyone can just kind of assess it and say that oh all this information that is not meant to there is no longer on distribution, no longer on in, uh, anywhere, and being given me for free. No, the, someone decided to just sue the freaking half the company or the organization and claim that they own the right to it, even though they don't have. Or who knows? Maybe they have, but it, it's just hard to say. But we have to give you a wait and see. But one thing for sure is that hopefully this organ, uh, this internet archive always stay on the internet because if they really gone. It is gonna be gone forever and it's gonna be a huge shift in human mankind but anyway that's just my speculative thought just a random chat um again i would recommend you guys to go and check out some ordinary gamers video to understand more take on it because this is just basically my just a random chat on my end but if you agree or disagree or do you think that internet archive did something f out or is it something that big corporate decided to sue out of uh organization that is meant for the that is like men for the public yeah write your view in the comment below we can discuss it further but do then if you do like this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe for more random chat or talk about stuff that is totally random or something i don't even know what i'm saying anyway but the one thing i can definitely say is i hope you guys have a nice day online bye